What's up guys? Today's video, we're painting the calipers on my Mustang because I just need a little more pop action on the calipers. So I'm getting inspired by the SRT. The SRT has uh, Brembo red calipers and uh, that's what we're going to do on the Mustang today. So I ended up ordering a kit from G2. Uh, it's a G2 paint kit, so it pretty much has everything you need to paint the calipers. Should be pretty straightforward. We're going to start off by raising the car, getting the wheels off, cleaning the brake calipers, and then uh, prepping them for paint, and then painting them with uh, the kit. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Should be pretty simple. Here we go. caliper exposed now so this is a part that we'll be painting right here these pieces now let's go on to the front okay and there is our front caliper as you can see it's a little dirty thankfully won't be too bad to go ahead and get it looking right so let me go ahead and start off by uh, cleaning them up. So we're going to use the supplied non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Alright guys, so the front is prepped. I covered the ground up so no drip gets on to my garage floor. Now let's go ahead and show you how I did the back. The back is a little difficult to kind of uh, tape off, so I just made sure I taped off the caliper so, uh, or the um, the actual uh, disc so no paint got on it. But I'm gonna be very gentle when I'm painting with a brush, so as to not get anything on this side. All right, guys. So I poured the whole reactor bottle into the paint and then we mixed it using the wooden stick. So you wanna mix this up and then let it sit for five minutes so that it's ready. And once five minutes has passed, you can begin uh, painting. I also grabbed the brush and I used some pliers to make sure that I squeeze the hairs on there so we don't have any issues with the hairs falling off. This is a nice little tip so that you don't have any issues with hairs falling off into your paint and ruining it. So now that we've got these both out of the way, Pretty much we just gotta wait for the paint to get ready and we can start painting. I'm gonna start off at the top and then work our way to the bottom. The reason I'm starting off the top is because um, paint will run down. Okay, so the first coat is completed on the front and on the rear as well, as you can see there. So now I'm waiting for the rear to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the front a little more. So the rear caliper is done, looks really good. I'm letting the paint kind of cure and dry off. I'm gonna go ahead and start off and working on the other side. Alright boys, decided to give you a little bit of an update. I've been kind of working away at these calipers, making them look good, applying more and more coats to get very nice even coverage. Um, they're looking pretty red, I mean like really red, and they're looking really good. Uh, I'm using the heat gun a little bit just to kind of speed up with the uh, drying process between coats. I have already finished up the back. Um, can't really see too too much in there, but you can kind of get a glance of it. 
Uh, they're still drying off, but I just needed to use jack stand, uh, move it to the front, so I had to wrap that up a little quicker than I wanted to. But like I said, my focus today was definitely the front over the back, just because these are way more visible and I wanted to make sure that they came out really nice. So, so far, this system works really well. It's very easy to use. It is a little bit of time consuming, so just be sure that you are aware of that. Um, you know, don't plan to take the car out the same day that you finish these up because they do have to dry and you have to unmask it and do all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on it, um, applying a few more quotes, and then uh, I'll probably wrap it up um, maybe after the fifth quote. So I decided since the wheels are already off the car and we're waiting for the calipers to dry that I would go ahead and detail the wheels, um, the front wheels especially. The back ones are not too bad with the front ones have a lot of brake dust so I'm going to spray some wheel cleaner, hit them with the pressure washer, dry them off and then do like a test fit to see how everything looks with the red calipers. And they're drying off now so they're starting to look really really good. Like I said earlier, this is a uh, self leveling paint. So as it dries off, it, it looks better and better. So let me go ahead and get to work on these. show you guys the Brembo decals. So these are the decals that I picked up off of Amazon as well. There's a total of four in here if you have um, all four calipers. Unfortunately for me on the Mustangs we can only use two. We're going to use the ones on the front but you can see how they're going to be laid out just like that once it's ready. So I may put the wheels back on and kind of wait a day or two until the calipers are really really nice and dry because I do think I want to hit these with a coat of clear just to make sure that they don't come off when I'm washing the car and like that. So that is an idea I'm, I'm kind of processing right now, but let's wait and see how this dries off. I'm gonna give it another hour and I'll catch up with you guys right here. All right guys, so I've waited an hour. We went ahead and washed the Challenger in the time being and uh, the calipers are pretty dry now. They look really good. I'm gonna hold off on putting the decals on just yet. The reason being is I have to take off the uh, wheels anyways in like two days because I'm installing ceramic pads over the weekend. So I'm gonna put the decals on during that time and probably hit it with a clear coat just so that they uh, don't come off during any wash or anything like that. So that is pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and slap the wheels back on, show you how they look, and that will be it for today. guys so I'm about to show you the final results of everything we did today so you can see a little bit of in the back of that uh, red that we did it's very minor in the back it doesn't show too much also these wheels are dirty so keep that in mind but the front is where it really kind of pops and uh, it goes with the car I think it definitely goes with the car it gives it a little bit of color especially once I put the uh, black badges with the red dot I think it'll look cool. So yeah, that's the way she's sitting right now. She does need a wash. It's a little dirty. But this this side. Go over the other side for you guys. And this one you can't even see it that much, but it's in there. It's painted. And here's the front.
not fully cured yet. They'll probably be cured by tomorrow. But I just wanted to get this done today. And I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out as I'm looking at it from right here. I think it looks really, really good. So let me know what you think in the comments below. That's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. My name is Rush, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.